Good morning and happy Feast of St. Joseph. On this day, I think a bit about my father as he grows older. He's almost 90 years old now and he's in weakened health, still a very important part of our lives, but he depends a little bit more upon uh, my mother and even more so upon his children, uh, myself and my brother and sister, and also for my uh, younger sister's heavenly intercession as well. Uh, as I grow older, I realize that much more how much my father really provided for us all those years when the four of us, you know, were growing up. Uh, he provided so well, and in that sense, he he was the protector of the family also. And so in his later years, this really is an opportunity for his children to give back to him, you know, for all that he's given to us. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph. And although there is much that we do not know about Joseph through the scriptures, this we do know, that he was the protector and the provider for the Blessed Mother and for Jesus as he was the foster father of our Lord. Back at my rectory, I have a little hummel of the flight into Egypt, where Joseph is a particular individual statuette. And this little hummel reminds me, as I look at St. Joseph, of how particularly during that flight into Egypt, you know, he protected the Blessed Mother. He protected his child, Jesus and he cared for them and he loved them because he trusted in God. St. Joseph, my brothers and sisters, is known as the protector of the church, the patron of the universal church. Well, that means you and I. During these difficult days in which we continue to deal with the effects of the COVID-19 virus, we can turn to St. Joseph and to know that he is protecting us through his heavenly intercession. There is anxiety, there is concern, there may be even fear. We must trust, as did St. Joseph, in God's goodness and trust in St. Joseph's protection and his heavenly intercession as you and I take this day by day, trusting in our loving God. Saint Joseph, protector of the church, pray for us.